Hello everyone. Um, this is kind of a part two on the 1858 Remington revolver video series. In my last video I talked about early 1858s. Now in this video I'm going to talk about what's considered a late 1858 revolver. This is an example of an 1858 Remington conversion. This gun started life as a cap and ball percussion 1858 um, Army revolver in 44 caliber. Later on, after 1868, um, a lot of these guns were converted to 46 rimfire. This is an example of a 46 rimfire conversion. If you'll notice right there, the frame has been cut out to accept the cartridge. Um, also, the cylinder was replaced because obviously the original 1858s had a six-shot cylinder, but because of the 46 rimfire cartridge being larger, they milled out new cylinders that only hold five shots. So this is a five-shot cylinder. The other thing is um, the charging handle, which is pretty much useless on this gun, but they did include an ejection rod so you could eject the uh, empty shell casing out after you fired it. interesting thing about this particular firearm, and again, there'll be more detailed pictures in an article on the website, is if you notice the condition, the patina of the frame in the cylinder opposed to the barrel is a lot different. The bluing on the, on the frame, the hammer in the cylinder, is a lot more permanent. The, the bluing on the barrel is pretty much non-existent. It's, it's a brown patina and it doesn't match the frame. However, the interesting point is the numbers don't match. Um, obviously, this barrel and the, you know, loader on it originally came from another gun. But, if you look at the serial numbers that are stamped on the frame under the grip, the serial numbers that are stamped on the barrel, and on the side of the frame, which, I don't know if you'll catch there, the serial numbers, when this gun was converted and put together, they, mat they force matched all the numbers. So this gun is, in effect, for a conversion piece, all matching, for what it's worth. Again, it prior to the conversion, you know, this was at least two different guns. However, when, when it was converted to a cartridge gun, the, the factory, Force matched everything, so this is indeed a correct matching 1858 Remington conversion chambered in 46 rimfire, uh, which makes it unique. It's, I don't want to say rare, but it's not, um, not super common. You do see them out there. Um, they are affordable on the collector's market for well, for the genre. Um, all in all, I think this is a real good representation. 
You see some of them out there for sale that are in a little bit better condition as far as the, 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 the condition of the bluing and the matching. But for all intents purposes, this is a, a, a solid example of an 1858 conversion cartridge conversion Remington that is in actual workable condition. It can be fired. Uh, wouldn't recommend it, but it definitely is a solid, fireable uh, cartridge conversion black powder revolver. Anyway, um, there'll be more details on this in, on the website. If you'd like to read more about it, see more detailed pictures, please go to the website, john1911.com, and uh, follow up on it. If you have any questions, uh, you can leave comments in the comments section or go to the website and comment on uh, the article itself. Anyway, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everyone have a nice day.